นะครับกูดมอร์นิ่งเลดี้สและเจนท์เมนท์มายเนมอิสโอลาซิปอักุลังซิปฟอนด์ดิซิมบอลทีมวันนี้ผมจะมาแนะนำให้คุณได้รับโปรเจกต์ของเราสวิสโซเชียลวิทยาศาสตร์อินโฟมิชันซิสเต็มสวัสดีครับวันนี้เราจะพูดถึงโปรเจกต์และกลุ่มดิเมนเชียดิเมนเชียคือกลุ่มของสิ่งที่ถูกเรียกว่าคอนติเนียสเดย์ของร่างกายเซลล์ฉันจะแสดงให้คุณเห็นสถิติของสิ่งที่ถูกเรียกว่าโลกในปัจจุบันในปี2017 There is an estimated of 35.6 million people living with dementia. In 2030, there is an estimated of 65.7 million people living with dementia. In 2050, there is an estimated of 115.4 million people living with dementia. The trend is increasing every year, and in just this year, 2013, there will be 5.6 million people. Increment number of dementia patients. It means in every four seconds there will be one individual that will develop into this dementia. The target group that we choose is the Alzheimer's disease. Why? Because Alzheimer's contain 60 to 80 percent of all dementia patients. Let me give you some effects of Alzheimer's disease. First effect, memory loss. Second, the attention loss, the, uh, the patient will not be able to focus on the thing they do. Problem solving skill, they will lose their critical thinking skill and will not be able to solve an easy problem. Language, the part of the patient brain will be destroyed and they will not be able to even speak and communicate with each other. The executive function, the patient will not be able to do a basic living daily life. For example, walking, eating, or even reading in the end. After all this effect, it's created an impact on families, society, and the world economy. Now let me give an example of the impact on the family and the caregivers. Caregiver stress, financial problems, legal problems, and family conflict. Now, give you on the ex uh, impact on the society and the world economy. We already spent a total of six hundred and four billion dollars each year to solve this particular problem of dementia. And already more than 10 countries have the National Alzheimer's Plan and we could also uh, implement our project in their plan too. Let me give you some video to show you more about Alzheimer's. Swiss platform. 
And the last module is the Swiss platform itself. It is the health and social platform. So let me start with the first module, third party application. The most uh, important third party application in our projects is the Swiss brand. We have designed, we have four design of the brand handling software. In cooperation with the Bangla International Hospital and the Alzheimer Foundation of Thailand. The first one, speed training. The user needs to recognize the uh, picture in the middle, whether it is in the same color and in the same shape or not. If you, if you say it's in the same shape and color, then need to touch on the right side of the screen to say it's correct, otherwise type on the left side. The next uh, software is the memory training. The, uh, the user needs to match the guards. This can use to improve the uh, patient short-term memory because they need to remember the picture on the guard. The uh, next example, the attention training. The user needs to uh, remember numbers, up to five numbers, and then repeat it in orders. The last one, the user needs to calculate an easy mathematics. We put the numpad on the right side so that they will use their left band for logical thinking. So now, let me show you some demonstration on Swiss band. Uh, we will show you the Swiss band speed training. After you got to the main page, you can pick the level 1, 2, 3, from the normal level to the high level, and then you can tap to start. You will see the timer at the top, and the bonus point, and also the point on the top right of the screen. And you can see, is it the same in the color and shape? You can click on the right side, so that it gives you a point, five point, and then it will keep going on, going on, going on. After it finished, we will see the point, both the point and the rest one time the user for the doctor to easily analyze in the Swiss platform. That we will talk later. We already talked about the brain now. We also make an application for our body, the Swiss fit. A benefit is to balancing the body, build muscle, and to build the brain stem. This is uh, the information from the expert that we are talking to. So the next part is the Swiss platform. It is the healthcare social platform. The most important part of this is the Swiss social. It will connect the, uh, everybody in this world together using the role of passion, doctors, and family. Swiss social will make, will make the user to maintain their social activities through our apps. They can talk to their uh, doctor, and also doctor can give the to-do list to each of their patients, and the not notification will ring on the time. For example, you need to uh, take your medicine at this time, time, blah, blah, blah. Or you need to use this app, and send, uh, I will see your statistic in the analysis button, for example. So let me give you a demo on this. After the login, login page, just register and click the sign. On this screen, you will see the patient screen, which will have my page to do list that give by the doctor, and my friend, my doctor, request friend, and the search button to search for new friend and new doctors. Okay, on the, uh, on the next screen, you will see the doctor screen, which will have an additional button. That is the analysis button that we, I will talk next. Swiss analysis will track the activity data for doctors to easily observe each of the patient and each of the devices and each of the application that the patient use. So, come back to the demonstration. The analysis button, when you click the analysis button, you will see... Uh, internet problem. Okay, after I finish, I, I will go back to this. You will see the... Uh, the